It all started around 2.30 a.m. Sunday morning. That's when a homeowner called 911 to report, quote, a bunch of hoodlums in the neighborhood. I'm going to secure my neighborhood. Um, I don't know the neighborhood you watch. I'm going to have the neighbors with me. There's hoodlums out here waking up and down the street. Uh, it's 1 o'clock in the morning. Uh, uh, they're shouting down with them. They have firearms. And yeah, we're going to secure our neighborhood. If I were you, I'd send TV a quick Several more calls came in, but it's the third that seemed to report that the situation had escalated. We, we have uh, our house is, uh, we have a lot of people outside of our house yelling and shouting profanity. Uh, I yelled at them, please uh, leave the premises. Uh, they were showing a, a firearm, so I, I, I fired a warning shot, and uh, we, we got somebody that, uh, that got hit. Okay, so somebody was shot? Uh, well, I don't know if they're shot or not, ma'am. I, I fired my warning shot like I'm supposed to by law. And uh, okay. we got people. A warning shot and now someone was dead. That victim turned out to be 20-year-old Karan Thomas, who later died at the hospital. Police arrested 39-year-old Chad Copley, charging him with murder. Authorities say he fired a shotgun from inside of his garage and killed Thomas, who was outside of his home. Now, right now, Copley is being held without bond. Friends and family of Thomas are now on social media sharing why they say he was, quote, murdered for no reason. We, along with both the victim and suspect's families, got a good look at what both sides planned to argue at Chad Copley's murder trial. His defense team telling the judge today that when he fired his shotgun into his front yard that night, he did so out of fear for the safety of his family, his home, and himself. Wearing her son's favorite color and clinging to a teddy bear, she says, is an urn holding his ashes. Corin Thomas's mother, Simone Thomas, leaves the courtroom in tears. I miss my son. I miss my son. Wake County Superior Court Judge Donald Stevens granting Chad Copley charged with his murder a $1 million bond. It wasn't about him. It was about the justice of my son. Judge Stevens noting the contrasting depictions of what happened August 7th outside Copley's home on Single Leaf Lane. Prosecutors describing a crowd noisily leaving a nearby party around 1 a.m. Copley's attorney comparing it to a war zone between competing gang members, saying when Copley yelled out a window for them to quiet down, some brandished handguns and started walking into his yard. Uh, they were showing a, a firearm, so I, I, I fired a warning shot. Playing back the two 911 calls made where Copley reported hoodlums outside his house and later fired a warning shot through his garage door, his attorney says it was meant to dispel a threat. They justified defensive force firing in the direction of uh, the individuals that were in his front yard. But whether that shot that hit and killed 20-year-old Thomas was meant to do just that or whether he was an unintended target, his defense team wouldn't yet say, only citing North Carolina's Castle Doctrine that he had a right to use deadly force to protect his wife and three children who were inside. And there's nothing in the law that says you have to wait for someone to literally kick in the door. That, the judge reminded, will be for the jury to decide. My son was innocent. And now that a judge has granted a $1 million bond for Chad Copley, his attorney tells us that his family will certainly try to post it and bring him home while he awaits his murder trial. Chad Copley will face a jury for the August 7th shooting death of Corin Thomas. I spoke with the attorney for Corin Thomas's family just a couple of hours ago, and he says that Thomas's mother cried tears of joy today when she found out the news. But of course we know that an indictment is not a conviction, and both sides still do have a long road ahead. Justin Bamberg, the attorney for Thomas's family, spoke with us over the phone. Well, today was a, a very, a very good day, um, but it's also bittersweet. Their son is, is gone. Their brother's gone. After the shooting, Copley told a dispatcher he was protecting his family and he believed people outside had firearms. There's been no evidence showing that Thomas was armed or on Copley's property. With an impending trial, Bamberg says Thomas's family is prepared for a long process if necessary. The family won't be satisfied until a jury of Mr. Copley's peers finds him guilty of the crime that he committed and had his murder in our opinion. Copley's attorney did not wish to comment on the indictment, but referred to a statement he released previously, which reads in part, We have seen too many wrongful convictions for anyone or any organization to jump to conclusions on the basis of someone being charged. We urge restraint and that folks not rush to judgment. 
This is a very important question. When do you have a right to shoot someone when you are in your own house? It is a question covered by the state's Castle Doctrine. You have a right to protect your home and protect your family, but there are very specific parameters under the law. Now, we talked to attorneys today, and they have talked about, looked at the details of this incident, and they don't believe, from what we know now, that it falls under the Castle Doctrine. One of the requirements is that the person against whom the force is used is either in the home or attempting to get in the home. The deceased was not physically on the shooter's property, uh, then the Castle do Doctrine doesn't apply. And you use force, the law presumes that you were in imminent fear of serious bodily injury or death. The person who was shot uh, does not appear from the descriptions to have been physically that person threatening the, the shooter. A warning shot is something to say, hey, I'm armed, go away. And they're typically fired up in the air, not horizontally, into a group of people. In a written statement today, Copley's attorney urges people not to rush to judgment in this case. Chad Copley could face the death penalty if convicted of murder. In a 911 call, he seems to say he was only meaning to protect his family and his home. But a neighbor is speaking out tonight, saying what happened should be investigated as a hate crime. Ushered into the courtroom, cuffed and shackled, 39-year-old Chad Copley winks at his wife, family and supporters holding back tears. Mr. Copley. It was just before 1 o'clock Sunday morning here at his North Raleigh home on Single Leaf Lane, where police say he fired a shotgun from inside his garage toward the street, striking and killing 20-year-old Corin Rodney Thomas. Someone just got shot. Someone shot, them out, shot him out of his house. The man's body was right in front of the mailbox. I don't think, I don't know how he was a threat from the garage. Jalen Lewis lives two doors down and hosted a party that night where he says Thomas was one of 50 people who showed up. He says he didn't see any of his guests carrying a gun and wasn't aware any were causing problems. A very different account than what we hear in this 911 call placed just minutes before that fatal shot was fired. Yeah, uh, we've had a bunch of hooligans out here racing. Um, I am walking away with them. They have firearms. Yeah, we're going to screw our neighborhood. If I were you, we're going to go secure our neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Does that surprise you? Yeah, very much so. Like, I don't know, that it kind of struck a nerve when, when I heard that one. It's kind of, I don't know, it sounds borderline hate crime. In court, Copley mouths what appears to be, I love you. We talked with neighbors who tell us they're shocked something like this would happen where they live. So we checked. Police records show officers were called out to Copley's home four times within the last year. Three of those were on the same day for fraud and a domestic incident. Another time last December for a missing juvenile. Also at the home where the party took place, Raleigh police responded there in March for a vandalism report, which they describe as a domestic dispute. Sunday, August 7, 2016, 0, 50 and 35 seconds. No, I'm with him. 911, what's the address of your emergency? It's uh, Chamberlain Dwayne. We've had a bunch of hooligans out here racing. Um, I am off the load and I'm going outside to secure my neighborhood. You need to send TV as quickly as possible. I'm sorry, you're going out to do what the neighborhood, sir? I'm going to secure my neighborhood. Um, I will neighborhood and watch. I'm going to have my neighbors with me. There's two of out here racing up and down the street. Uh, it's 1 o'clock in the morning. Uh, uh, there's some vandalism. They have firearms. And yeah, we're going to secure our neighborhood. If I were you, I'd send TD as quickly. Okay, sir, can you tell me what single we turned off on? It's single week wing at Raleigh, North Carolina. Nine one one. what's the location of your emergency? 3536 single leaf lane. Just repeat that, make sure I'm sending help to the right place. I'm sorry, what? Ma'am? Some somebody's doing it or you're okay, repeat the address, make sure I'm sending help to the right place. 3536 single leaf lane. And what is your name? What's the phone number you're calling me from? Tell me exactly what happened. I, I don't I don't know. I'm upstairs with our children. Oh, hold on. Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah, so can you tell me exactly what happened? Uh, we have a lot of people outside of our house yelling and shouting profanities. Uh, I yelled at them, please uh, leave the premises. Uh, they were showing uh, a firearms, so I, I, I fired a warning shot, and uh, 
we, we got somebody that, uh, that got hit. Okay, so somebody was shot? Uh, well, I don't know if they're shot or not, ma'am. I, I fired my warning shot like I'm supposed to by law. They do have firearms, and I'm trying to protect myself and my family. So, did they just show up at your house? I'm going to send them over there, sir, but I need to know what's going on. Black males outside my freaking house firearms. Please send PD. Okay. Sir, is anyone shot?